Well, hello there. I'm Dr. Amelia Fox, and I'm here to share some fun ideas about how to stay well-trained. Well-trained during the season when we can't fly a lot. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you to grow and continue with flight. And I'm going to demonstrate a few things you can do in the real flight simulator. It doesn't matter if you have real flight 7.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.0, 9.0, or 10. Uh, any version of real flight um, is good for some of these methods, and I'd like to share them with you, and I know we'll have a lot of fun. So let's run real flight after it's been installed, and let's set it up so that it's user-friendly. Uh, very importantly, we must calibrate. We must calibrate the transmitter, the radio transmitter get into a real flight, it doesn't matter where you land, what aircraft you're on, just make sure your throttle is off. And go up to the simulation menu and choose select control. And you can see that I have the interlink link X. I'm going to calibrate it. And I'm going to read the instructions. It says place the sticks in the center. And you notice you can see the center here quite well. Click next. And then I'm going to move the sticks in multiple directions, placing them back in the center, making sure that I have 50% in all categories of the first four channels. Now I can begin to check my other channels. Doesn't matter where I leave them. But these are the switches. These are the switches and the, the uh, round dials, oftentimes used for the jets. Also, you can look closely at the trim switches and make sure that they're centered. And if they are centered, you know if I were to pull a trim center off, it should be just fine. And one more last time. Now I have to shut my throttle off, else the craft will fly. I'm going to hit the reset, put this uh, tricopter back at the beginning. And let's set up our airport. We need to choose an environment. Let's choose for the sake of uh, training. Let's choose the Flight School HD. Not just plain old Flight School, but Flight School High Definition. All right, this is a great place to learn to fly. Now we need to make sure in the view scenery that all scenery is on. And sometimes you may need to just all off. See how bare it is. And then turn it back on to uh, make sure that everything has turned on. There's a lot of trees in the background and clouds. We do need some gadgets to help us out here. We need a radio and I like to put that radio transmitter right down about there. We also need our binoculars. So when we're flying out of range, it would be very difficult to see. Um, our, our aircraft. We need that binoculars. And finally, for another gadget, we need the modes. We need to know what flight mode we're flying in. And this is the way I like to have the, the page set up so that the flight modes are in the bottom right hand side. The radio controller is in the left hand side. You can see now that I'm going to flip my switches. This would be the mode switch in the far upper left hand corner. Also, I'm going to tap the page down key and look in the bottom left hand corner and you'll notice it says the wind speed is zero. I can do page up and the wind speed goes up. In this case, I'm going to turn my wind speed down to zero. I also can tap my delete key on the keyboard and it says my turbulence is zero. I, you know, and by default, it comes uh, about 115%. We want to turn that off while you're training. All right, have that all set up. Good. Now you have got yourself set up for training. This is the first video. This is what we wanted to achieve in this first video is to set the airport up for training and you are calibrated. Come back and visit with me in the next video and let's start with fixed wing flight. All right, see you there.